Coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. So another big spot for this high-level wrestler here tonight. And the opposition knows what's coming, but more often than not in the UFC, they've been unable to stop. It's because since a little boy, he spent his life on the wrestling mat. And even though you start to prepare for it late, you cannot match his ability to train, his ability to focus. The idea that once he gets a hold of you, it only ends with him in top position. It does not matter if he has to get a high crotch. It does not matter if he needs to get a single leg or a double leg. The purpose is to get you to the floor, and he has been trained his entire life to do just that. Yeah, you put it well. He's got a lot of throws and takedowns and trips in his arsenal, and he'll try to put them to good use in this matchup here tonight. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artist. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a wrestler holding a professional record of 20 wins, six losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Ghost Dog. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of seven wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Butcher! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Are you ready? Well, it's good to see this man back inside the octagon. Round one getting underway here. As many of you know, he won his last fight by blistering knockout. His popularity has absolutely soared since. So with momentum tonight, he'll try to keep the winning streak and the knockout streak still intact. All right, so there's the early takedown. Pretty evident, DC, that he wants to get this fight to the ground, and he was certainly able to do so there. He felt like he had a massive advantage in the wrestling. And if he attempted takedowns, he would secure him. Let's see what he does from this position. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Now the elbow is the weapon of choice. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Big leg kick lands. Timely defense there, huge block for him. 
Three minutes to go. Nice. Oh, a little single collar tie there. And they separate. I mean, he's cut them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. He's gonna try to take it down. There you go. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this thing. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's gotta grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. Under a minute now to go. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Ground and pound strike there now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Great punch landed with so much power. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Missed with that right hand. Ooh. There, DC, he is officially right. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Oh, big left. He's out. He got him. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, he's gonna enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that in... ...did his opponent's night. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 58 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Butcher! And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this...